introducing the RPIW that the, the uh, staff have been working on this past four weeks in particular this last month. It's to do with the emergency room wait time for admitted patients. Um, this is the team that's been working on it. Lisa, who's a nurse on level six. Anna. Or Anna, as I'm looking at Lisa. <laughs> and Anna works with me, so that's not it. Anna's a nurse on level six. Tracy, the manager in ER. Um, I think most of you know who John Pickett is. Deputation representing the supervisors. Jenna's a nurse in ER. Supervisor. Oh, Ken. 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 <laughs> Ken, who's the patient representative. Lisa is from Client Access. And Stacy from Quality. Carol, um, and then we'll carry on from here. Good afternoon and welcome. Um, we are uh, just going to have our uh, initial um, introduction. We'll do our report out. Then Sensei will say a few words and then we will have our CEO wrap things up. Um, the team report will be uh, 20 minutes in total. And our project uh, was from, oh, sorry, this is our team. <laughs> <laughs> this is our team that worked very hard on our project, and our project uh, was from the time that a discharge order was written in the emergency room to the time our patient was in a bed on a floor. Uh, we examined two processes that affect the outflow of the emergency room, and the next slide is process one. This was the time an order was received to the time the uh, person was in the bed. We discovered a wait of 90 minutes or more to move a patient into a bed from the emergency room up onto the unit. The next process was the other movement from the time a discharge order is received to the time that a bed is ready and a new patient is able to move up onto the unit. And that wait time was around three hours and 20 minutes for the time that the bed sat empty waiting for somebody. Next one is just our emergency room flow of patients and the back bay is where we actually did 5S. And this, our target sheet, um, we looked at the two processes and we focused on standard work, and-ons or visual signals to decrease walks, um, decreasing weights for patients in the emergency room, our 11 o'clock discharge time and getting the room ready. Good afternoon everyone. Uh, I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about, first of all, about tack time. Uh, of course, we have about 80 patients overall in the emergency department and over a 24 hour period. So we need to uh, uh, see a patient turnover uh, once every 18 minutes. But in this exercise more particularly, we're looking at those people who will be admitted. And so I'm going to uh, define uh, a little more closely what we need to do for housekeeping, discharge, cleaning. And so uh, because the housekeepers do a range of functions, regular cleanings, but they focus in on discharge cleaning, uh, we would say suggest the tack time of, uh, for housekeeping discharge cleaning has to be within 30 minutes. So uh, we, we, this is one of our forms we filled out. Uh, next. So uh, first of all, we started off with a series of observations from a uh, housekeeper. And uh, this particular one, this young man worked very hard, took 37 and a half minutes to do uh, a cleaning. Myself and, and again, uh, this is this uh, outlines our standard work combination for that pre tie van event. And again, we're really exceeding our cash time. Uh, again, we show on a per, uh, the, uh, percent load the chart uh, that we're also exceeding our cash time. So this is, this is an example of uh, another example because we did several. Uh, of, for example, the nursing supervisor, what they have to do within, they only have a fixed time within their 12-hour uh, uh, period to do um, admissions. So that's just an, again an example of the um, of the um, bar chart. So what we did was we uh, we timed and uh, we. Observed uh, with committee drawings the, uh, the uh, uh, where what has to be done for the cleaning, and and then we also looked 
uh, we actually, uh, the South decided they wanted to get rid of the laundry cart. They would have one cupboard with laundry in it. They uh, reactivated a plug-in and actually brought the equipment that they used into the back bay instead of having to go and look for it. And also created a patient library in that. And so this is under the sink. There's that Christmas tree. And this is a closer picture of the uh, patient library. And then we went from 2.1 to the score of 4 for the FADAS evaluation and going up in better in the FADAS evaluation. Okay. As a frequent flyer of the health system, it would be nice if you got on the front door, got on the conveyor, were admitted, diagnosed, treated, healed, and then into your limousine to go home. Obviously, that doesn't happen that way. But what we have is work standards throughout for every area. And by observations, suggestions from the staff, and ideas of our own, and the way things are not changed, we have to change the work standards. And we've modified those work standards to, to meet the time limits or time targets that we have. And we've affected five major areas. The discharge of patients to a holding area is is one area that we affected. Uh, discharge cleaning, and you've just heard about that, and that uh, had quite a few changes in it, with a lot of help from the cleaning uh, supervision. And then admitting a patient from the emergency department, department to uh, client access, again, uh, things have changed there so that people are aware sooner that the room is ready, the patient can be up into that room in a lot less time. In addition, to that, the uh, communications and the information flow is probably one of the most important things to keep track of what's happened to that patient and what's happened within the hospital. So the standard operating procedure or forms for that information flow has changed. And then the target to admission to a ward within 30 minutes, you've heard some about that. And, uh, we're trying to, to get that. We think that's achievable. And with the changes that have made, I'm sure it is. So we have two visual signals on the wards now. The red vacated is used to alert housekeeping. The red needs to be cleaned. And uh, housekeeping will then change to the gray ready when it was cleaned to alert the nurses in the ward system. Discharge of time signs are placed in all the rooms on the wards for the patients in the family.
So the RPIW newspaper is a list of all of the things that we accomplished this week, um, the percent complete that they are as of today, as well as who needs to follow up on those things and by when, um, and along with the audit requirements. So highlights of what has, have been done this week are a lot of standard work created for housekeeping, client access, discharge by 11, communication with supervisors, the board, etc., as well as um, the very innovative of our and donor or signal. Some highlights of what's left to be done post RPIW week. Um, one thing would be <coughs> that we didn't get to attack or tackle this week were the specialist consults admitted patients on the floor instead of in the emergency department. This is just changing um, some habits. So we'll try and get that done whenever possible. The other thing is creating supervisor standard work for assigning beds and how to prioritize and assign those beds. Um, another thing that, that could be done um, follow up after the RPIW week is to have labs being done the night before or as early as possible on the day of discharge. So our target progress report, um, just some highlights from what we've accomplished this week. For process two, which is that discharge order written to the new patient in the bed, um, capacity went from 49 patients to 80 patients because of the decrease in room cleaning time. So for process one, which was the admission order written to patient put in the bed, we saw a 61%, sorry, 31% decrease in lead time. That was process one. Process two, we had a 61% decrease in lead time. So that's a 78% change from the time a patient leaves the room to the time a new patient can be put in that bed. Now to summarize our workshop, been very valuable to help a patient with us to help us and everyone we work with understand and keep us real. All our staff embraced the challenge, participated, tried new ways, and gave us feedback and created improvements. Gave our team a greater understanding and appreciation for other departments from client access to housekeeping to units to the supervisors. We always had known, we, we had always known there's been delays with discharges and our ability to get new patients into hospital beds and we feel great that we are helping to get people into their beds. With our improvements, we won't have one person waiting in ER and one bed sitting waiting basically taking up two beds. Our nursing staff knew about our 11 o'clock discharge time and have now been formally given permission to say we have a discharge time and understand why we need to move people out of the ER to a patient bed on the units. Our patient team member let us know how everyone's depth of knowledge and hard work are evident and that there is another side that cares about our patients. We would like to thank a few people, all of the staff we have touched and who have helped us. There aren't many we haven't touched. Our team who walked together and created a better stream for our patients. Our patients who kept us real. Our sponsor and our process owner. And Sensei Marita and his interpreter at Expo. I think we've had a very fruitful week, um, led by a very competent leader and uh, some leader, and uh, and uh, special thanks to Ken <coughs> representing uh, patients. Yes, and I think it added so much to have you. Kaizen is a way to change your mindset. Kaizen means to change your mindset in order to change how you do things. 
ER を対象にしましたけれども、実際の対象職場は、あと工程にある4階、5階、6階がメインになりました。Although you may think we were focusing on the ER, actually we were looking at the following processes on the wards. So, the people who are in the world are very good to be able to do this. And、uh, I appreciate the fact that the people on the wards were so understanding and so eager to help out. The people on the wards were so understanding and so eager to help out. The people on the wards were so understanding and so eager to help out. 入院が決定してからいかにスムーズにその病棟のベッドに入るかというテーマでした。その過程についてはそのひと月前の準備室の時もいろんな問題がありました。And about this process, we learned about many issues that are hindering it during our prep week. You are working with the absolute that you cannot change. That is the number of the limited number of beds. However, the very、uh, first、uh, basic of a、uh, total production system is to do whatever you can do within the parameter. To actually implement something you can right now and see what kind of results it would bring. And、uh, under that thought, we have three main themes. スーパーバイザーの人がいかに早くベッドを見つけるためのやり方を変えるとか、やり方を改善するということですね。One is to improve on the method uh, by which uh, the supervisors would uh, allocate. Okay. それと、退院した後の信号、退院時間がその11時というのがなかなか守られてない現状をどう改善するかということ。Mm-hmm. And the second one was to、um, Improve on the fact that many patients were not leaving by examination <coughs> when they are discharged. <coughs> And the third one was to get the room ready as quickly as possible and have it communicated to the people. And、uh, all the members of the、uh, team really understood it and worked so hard to、uh, improve that. And thankfully, we had so much cooperation from all the people、uh, in boards. We were、um, given uh, uh, goosebumps when uh, uh, Tracy reported to us yesterday that four discharges. were all done before 11 o'clock in a, a certain floor. I'm sure you will、uh, encounter lots of issues and, and uh, uh, in the future as you carry on, but、uh, please remember what you are thinking right now. で今回あの一つはというか TPS の基本を,を学んでその道具を使って改善するということも一つのテーマになっていると思います。皆さんで勉強しようということが。One of the themes we had this week was、uh, for you to learn the basics of the Toyota production system,、うん、so you could apply any of the tools in,、うん、in, in your own work site in the future. 時間管理とかコンビネーションシートを作るとかスパゲティチャートを作るということも基本のことを学んだと思います。Uh, for example, you, you learned how to do time observation, how to write uh, um, uh, standard work combination sheets and spaghetti diagrams and so on. The most important thing out of that, as you must have learned, is the creation and、uh, adherence to standard work. And you created four standard work. やっぱり標準書をいかに使いこなすかということが大事です。So、it's important to learn to really learn how to use it effectively 
そうですね、標準書の大事なのは、これからやっぱり皆さんが守るということが第一番です。The idea is for everybody to stick to it. もちろん。ただ、その、守れない標準も、ま、守れない場合、その人が守らないのか、守りにくい標準なのかということも、これからの課題になると思いますね。However, when、uh, people are not following it, you have to put on a thinking cap and, 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 and And see if it's because you have a lousy standard、うん、that people cannot follow. <laughs> or, 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 働きやすい病院と患者さんのためになる病院を目指して今後とも頑張ってください。So, um, having learned what you have this week, uh, please uh, carry on your, your excellent work、um, so that you will have a very uh, um, effective uh, hospital and that's very good for both、uh, patients and, and staff. So, I、uh, want to thank the team for、uh, just the tremendous work、uh, that occurred this week.、Uh, it really is an example of、uh, how,、uh, you know, we, there is a saying about it takes a village to raise a child. It also takes a whole team of people from various units who are all dedicated to serving their patients. To,、uh, Moving them through、uh, their journey of care,、uh, it, that everyone contributes. And、uh, I think today, and、uh, that you described this journey that you began on Monday and finished on Friday, how teams and different departments came together to really focus on their patients and to get them from the emergency room to their bed. Where they can receive the care and comfort uh, of, uh, and to complete <coughs> their journey. So, I really do want to thank、uh, the RPIW team. I want to thank the departments who had to uh, open uh, their thoughts on how they could do things differently. And just think that it's amazing how、uh, housekeeping, when I hear the time it took to the time now of 14 minutes to clean a room. Move someone upstairs to their bed. I mean, that's just so、uh, unbelievable. And that comes through teamwork. And so I do want to thank the team. I know that our patients、uh, will thank you also. They may not even know about the improvements, but they will know that the care they receive is happening as quickly as possible, getting from one department who's focused on their care to their bed on the unit. Uh, it's unbelievable. So, thank you very, very much for your hard work, for the teams working together. And I want to thank、uh, Sensei and Echo for、uh, their、uh, support of our team and bringing their expertise here to Prince Albert. And on behalf of the board, the senior team, and all your colleagues throughout this region, good work, good job. Thank you so much.